Good morning, everybody. We are on our way to Red Robin because we're eating lunch with Danny's mom and brother. Yeah. Why does Bryn have to be there? My I gosh. Love Bryn. <laughs> we always pick on Bryn. So we are doing that, and then we are going shopping at BJ's, which is like a Sam's Club or a Costco or something like that with like bulk items and stuff. So we can get some pork that we can smoke for the weekend because this weekend is our baby shower. And Next week, Monday, it's Monday. Well, yeah. No, it's this, well, it's this weekend. weekend for them. It's Monday. Well, it's this weekend for us, too. <laughs> no, I've lost all track of everything. Currently, we're on the weekend. So this weekend coming up is our baby shower. So anyway, yeah, that's what we're doing. We are going to eat lunch and do some shopping and we need to pick up some stuff for Danny's dad too. We are going to be sending him a package in the mail to Afghanistan so we need to go shopping for stuff for that box as well. Right? Yepers. All right. Are you everyone, hungry? Yep. Everyone sends stuff overseas though. Everyone does? For everyone should send stuff overseas for our people though. Oh yeah, regardless of whether or not you know somebody over there? Yeah, exactly. Send a package over. Like you could send over Girl Scout cookies and stuff. They Probably like that. We used to do them. that. Well, no, that's like four dollars a box or something for Girl Scout cookies. But we used to do that in Girl Scouts. We used to buy extra boxes and sh ship them over to the guys in Afghanistan and stuff in Iraq. And or anywhere, for sure. Yeah, anywhere. Uh -huh. So, yes, show those people you care and send them a care package. All right, so I'm working on making up this care package for Danny's dad, and we've got lots of stuff in it. I took stuff out of the boxes, hoping that oh, I still have to take this out of the box. Hoping that it will help with the room, but I mean, we've got him one of these. I've got like five packets of tuna. We've got a whole bunch of pop tarts. There's 24 of these. I have a box that has, I got this, it had six bags of popcorns in it. We've got some of all these, all those oatmeal cream pies because he loves those. And I don't know if he likes these, but we decided we'd try to get him some of these to send over. So hopefully he likes all of that and we still have more stuff that we can send over. More room for stuff. Okay, we gotta find more stuff. Yeah, so that, and we're gonna put a ultrasound picture of the baby or a family picture or something in here. Send that out to him. So anyway, I've still got, I mean, it doesn't look like a whole lot, but I still have that. This is the size of the box. It's very, very small. So, yeah, but I know they send it off by weight and it weighs a lot, but it's packed full of stuff. So hopefully he likes that. So if you watched my vlog the other day, you saw me buy these oranges and I don't remember exactly what they're called, mala mala or something weird like that, and some grapefruit. So I'm going to make my orange juice with grapefruit like I've been doing. I don't know what my dog is doing right now. And hopefully it turns out okay. I've never made it with these oranges before, but I hope they taste good. I guess we'll find out in a minute. It's really weird because this is an orange. It definitely smells like an orange. And this is a grapefruit. And one of the things about them was that they're very similar in color. They're not identical. I don't know how well you can tell, but... I don't know. It's a pretty looking orange and the color is really cool. So I hope it turns out okay. The orange juice is going to be weird colored. So it's really weird because the juice actually came out orange, but it started as this color. I don't know, that's so weird. Alright, well I'm going to add the grapefruit now. There we go. See what it tastes like. Oh, that's really sour. Nice and strong. Danny, you want some? We are making breakfast for dinner! And Danny wants pancakes with special dark Hershey's chocolate. Ooh! So we gotta make some of those and we gotta eat and then clean up this mess because I made a mess. Alright, here we are. Pancakes and eggs. That's it. Just kidding. That's for you guys, isn't it? That's for you. That's not mommy and daddy sized food, is it? No. That's for you. Yeah, tell daddy it's dinner time. Hey daddy, come on, it's dinner time. Rocky clearly doesn't want any. Nope, not at all. Not at all. Rocky, do you want some? I don't think you do. You want some too? All right, here you go. 
properly portioned just for you. Very good. I can't wait to eat it. Yep. <laughs> Guess we chose against chocolate chips. Yep. Chloe, do you want yours? All right, I'll give yours to Rocky. All right, ready? Rocky, oh, here. Oh. Rocky. Okay, or we'll trade. Rocky, whatever. Rocky, look. Chloe, look. Somebody. One of them. Okay, here. There you go. Wow, that took a lot to get them separated. Yeah, I know. Jeez. Rocky, you're making a mess. Chloe's making a mess. I don't know. Based off of their reaction, I don't think I did a very good job on dinner today. Nope. Hey, you hate well. it. Look at you. And then you're just going to have some ice cream later. Or a milkshake or something. Milkshake. Yeah. Ooh. Looking at me like, are you going to make me one? I never said that. Never You're said implying it. Never it. said it. You're implying it. Never said it. it. Looking away from the camera. Never mm -hmm. said it. Rocky has to check hey, out the Chloe's. No. Yep. We're going to do some more of those tomorrow. Getting close. Rocky left some on right. his plate and neither Time of you are eat. eating it. Time to eat. Hi, buddy. Is it bedtime? Is it bedtime yet? It's late, isn't it? It's really dark out right now, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, you're so sweet. And Chloe, you probably can't even see her. So, I am watching the Olympics right now. It's swimming. I was watching it because of gymnastics, but swimming's on now. And I think gymnastics is coming back later. I'm not sure. But I think it is time to go to bed. We didn't film a whole lot today. Um, I have been having a lot of hip and pelvic pain today and kind of yesterday and everything so we really didn't do a whole lot that we wanted to film just because I was in a lot of pain all day long um, a lot of it was spent just sitting on my sofa with a heat pad or on my yoga ball which I don't think well you can kind of see right it's right there <laughs> so it's purple so it's dark but so yeah a lot of time was just kind of spent trying to not be in any kind of pain but what can you do? It's all part of the process. Right, Rox? It's all part of the process. So, yeah, we've got, I guess, depending on how you count here, six weeks and two days left until I'm induced. So, a little bit longer, but I'm definitely starting to get to the point where I'm super uncomfortable, and it's not very much fun. But, that's okay. We're going to go to bed. Probably going to wake up even more sore tomorrow morning than I feel now because whenever I sit around for a while and not move then it really starts to hurt but that's okay it'll all be worth it in the end so buddy can you say good night can you say good night say good night bye